Anyway, this photo uh, behind me is, uh, <clears throat> is from something I shot last year. It's from uh, Cage the Elephant Show. Um, I'm, I'm almost embarrassed to tell you it is shot from a photographer's pit, <laughs> um, which uh, at, Term at Terminal 5. And uh, uh, it's Matt Schultz, who's the uh, lead singer, who, um, who's just jumped off. It's a pretty epic leap off of the... Uh, VIP balcony at Terminal 5. If you've ever been there, it's, it's a little, it's kind of high. Um, and uh, it was at the very end of the show, and after a, a couple of stage dives, which they often do as band, him and his brother, who's in the band, um, um, he, the, the, the crowd carried him over, essentially, to the, uh, the, the pylon, uh, with the, 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 the support, and um, he just started climbing up, which uh, I later learned was to his mother. Um, who, who all she said to him was, don't jump. <laughs> um, and what he said before turning around was, was uh, I have to. I really have. <laughs> um, Cage, uh, Cage the Elephant is a really exciting band to shoot, and actually um, there's so many uh, amazing uh, music photographers that I get to uh, work with or follow um, online or send work to me, uh, and they're if they've shot this band, they've gotten some, something amazing uh, because they're so, such a vibrant uh, performer, uh, performers. Um, but anyway, one of the reasons why I was able to get this particular shot, because it was the end of, uh, toward the end of the show, was because they, of the access that they granted me, which um, uh, was an all-access uh, pass. And um, um, basically, I mean, I, I'm presuming since you're here, you, you, you know what that means. Uh, most venues of this, of this nature and bands of this size, you're, you're going to get like the first three songs. Um, and that's it, which I, I, I will do. I don't like to do, but I, I, uh, I always try and kind of campaign for being backstage, spending a good part of the day with them if it's possible. Um, it's what basically all of us want to do when we photograph in a band. Um, but that's become, I think, maybe increasingly difficult over the last um, couple of years, or, or 10, 15 years. Uh, um, it's, um, uh, I've only been at uh, Rolling Stone for about eight years, and when I first started, was, was the very, that was the very first time I actually shot a show, and it was by accident. Um, it was, I just happened to be in London, and a band I really loved was there, and I decided to call up and ask for you know, a photo pass, and they asked me, do you want all access? So I was like, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I didn't really know what that meant, because I, I, when I first started at Rolling Stone, it wasn't specifically for, uh, to work on the music stories. It was on, the, on more on the news, news side. And um, um, so when I got there, they were trying to, they were sort of coaching me. It was a little embarrassing, because uh, at one, one point, the stage manager, manager came up to me and goes, you know you're allowed to go on stage, right? <laughs> um, which I didn't know, but uh, so that, uh, but, sin, uh, but since then, uh, like recently, uh, I had this similar access with uh, Kasabian, um, who um, I learned that even if the, the publicist and the, the band's management um, have signed off on you being with them the entire day, it, it's um, you still have that that hurdle of dealing with the band itself. Like they need to really like you, <laughs> and to to be comfortable with you. Um, so with Kasabian, we just went out uh, to a bar, a dive bar, and shot pool, and then basically they took me aside and they're like, we like you, whatever you want to do, it's totally fine. And I was like, yeah, I, I know, I already have in the past. But, <laughs> but it's, I mean, it was really good that, that, you know, that they had the same thought. And in fact, they actually were trying to get me to sing back up on one of their songs that night. And, uh, um, and uh, that didn't happen, which is very crushing to me. Um, but they did bring me out for their, their final bow, which was kind of crazy. Um, uh, there was another time when uh, I got to be backstage with the Allman Brothers Band, um, and everyone was fine with me except for uh, Butch Trucks, who, when he found out there was someone from Rolling Stone there, started flipping the fuck out and came at me with a small dog and started just put me in a corner and started just going off on me. Um, which I then found out was about a story that we had done, but it was a story we'd done in 1973. <laughs> and um, so I'm like, I can't, I, I can't answer for that. It was, by, uh, it was the, the, the famous cover feature by uh, Cameron Crowe. He, he had, he had objected, objected for 35 years to something in that story. Um, um, anyway, so, so a lot of these are, um, are actually assignments from the magazine for, for me to do, but often 
often it's with bands that I that I like or want to shoot or want to have uh, included in the magazine, and I will I'll go sort of on my own time and make a case for uh, a body of work to exist. And a lot of times that might end up in like a web gallery, which is fine. And everyone's happy with that. This is what um, this was shot for, um, and so. Um, it's, it so happens that this night, um, Foles were opening for them, and that was my first band. So I was like, I got to hang out with these guys again. So, uh, so that was kind of a, a, an awesome evening. Um, and in fact, uh, I should mention that when this, uh, when this jump was about to take, uh, this, this was the very end of the show, and uh, apparently they, they finished the show like this a lot, and uh, the band at this point is already they're already off stage and they're already upstairs. Um, and he's just running around like crazy. And um, so there's just these, this sort of crazy feedback coming from the speakers, which is like, just like gets in your head. And, um, um, and uh, as he jumped, he, he actually jumped face first and um, made his body really flat, to sort of be caught well. And, uh, but he hit so hard and this, sort of, this human crater was actually like 20 feet somewhere else. Like when he hit it, it just it just all shifted, and it was all it was kind of this beautiful like human water drop into like a sea of like uh, <laughs> a sea of people. Um, and he never touched the ground. It was uh, they lifted him up, and I mean I, I study art history, and I just always felt like kind of like a religious scene in a way, you know, um, him being shirtless as well. But they they lifted him up and. Carried him off to security, and they put up, they dragged him over to the stage, and he just lied down, and that was the end of the show. Uh, <laughs> um, so uh, that's it for me. I'm gonna.